So for this hat, you're going to need, need to pick your yarn. So I have, I love this yarn in the color terracotta. A 16 inch cable needle with size 9 needles. And you're going to need matching double pointed needles for finishing the top of your hat. You're going to need a sewing needle and a couple stitch markers. So after you work your seven rows of one by one rib, now we're going to start our increase row. So what you want to do is begin with a repeat of knit two. Then we're going to make a stitch. Let's pick up the horizontal bar, knit through the back. Then we're going to knit three. and make one. And then you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to increase our stitches by 31, which will take our total to 111. So once you've worked your increase round, now we're just going to knit four plain rows. After our four knit rows, we're going to do one purl row. Then just going to repeat rows one through five until we get the length of our hat. Your whole hat from cast on edge should measure approximately seven and a half inches. And now we're going to start our decreases. So within working our pattern of knit four rows, purl one, we're going to work our decrease. So we're going to work a row of decrease and then a plain row while keeping our pattern. It sounds a little bit confusing, but it isn't once you get the hang of it. We're going to be doing knit two togethers when we're working a knit row. But if our decreases ever fell on a purl row, then we're going to purl them together. So what you want to do is continue in your pattern. So your first decrease row would be a plain knit row. And you're going to knit 26 stitches. So what I ended up doing, because I have remo removable stitch markers, is I placed a stitch marker every 28 stitches and that is where our decreases will be. If you don't have removable stitch markers, you can just do that on your final row. Every 28th stitch, you can put a place, you can place a stitch marker. And that'll help us keep our decreases together. So pretty much what we're doing is working our pattern up into the two stitches before our stitch marker, and then we're working our knit two together or our purl two together if it happened to fall on a purl row. So, so now we're up to our last two, or we've knitted 26. Now we're going to knit two together. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Then we're going to follow this with our plain knit row. Row three, we're going to begin a repeat of knit 25. knit two together and repeat that all the way around and then row four will be a plain knit row. So row five, now we come to the point where our pattern switches over to a purl row. So we're going to move our yarn to the front and we're going to purl and we're going to begin a repeat of purl 24. Then we're going to purl two together. And we're going to repeat that across. And for row six, we're just going to do a plain knit row. 
For row 7, you're going to begin a repeat of knit 23. Knit two together. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Then for row 8, we're going to do a plain knit row. For row 9, we're going to begin a repeat of knit 22. Knit two together. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. Then for row 10, we're going to work a purl row. For row 11, we're going to begin a repeat of knit 21. Knit two together. We're going to repeat that all the way around. Then row 12, we're just going to do plain knit row. For row 13, you're going to begin a repeat of knit 20. Knit two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Row 14, we're going to do a plain knit row. Then for row 15, we're just going to work a purl row, which you can see the bumps here. And right now, our stitch count is 84 stitches. So now we're going to decrease rapidly. So row 16, we're going to start with a repeat of knit two together, and we're going to repeat that around the whole hat, which will half our stitches, and we'll end up with a total of 42. So we're just going to repeat that all the way across. So we're going to just knit two together until we reach the other side. And then for row 17, we're going to work a plain knit row. Row 18, we're going to do a knit two together repeat. So we're just going to knit two together all the way around. We're going to half our stitches again, and we're going to end up with 21. At any point when stitches get tight, you can move over to double pointed needles. And row 19, we're just going to do a plain knit row. Then for our final decrease round, row 20, we're going to repeat the same process with a knit two together repeat. And this will end us with a final stitch, which we're just going to knit. And that's going to give us 11 stitches left. And then that'll be it for our decreases. So we're just going to go around and knit two together. So once you have your 11 stitches left, you're going to cut your yarn and put it onto a sewing needle. And then we're going to finish off our hat. So what we're going to do is going in the same way we would be going if we were continuing to knit. We're going to take our sewing needle and we're going to pick off the stitches from our left needle and transfer them to our sewing needle. You have to do this in stages as your stitches will be tight from not having many left. And then you're just going to pull the yarn through. Then you're just going to push some more stitches to the end of your needle and continuing in our direction we're going to keep slipping them off onto our sewing needle until we have them removed from our knitting needles completely. Pull the yarn through got the final one that we're going to pull our needle all the way through put our hand in the hat to help us pull it tight to close the hole then I like to take the needle and feed it back down into the hat where then you pull really tight to tighten up the top of your hat then you're just going to weave it underneath and make a knot to keep the top secure if you'd like to add the pom-pom to the top you can click this video here to see how I made it and this is your final hat
So I hope you enjoyed this Secret Garden inspired hat. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and what hat you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.